What's up everybody, it's Angel, and I'm feeling very accomplished because this tutorial is all freehand, which basically never happens on my channel, except for this one time at Bandcamp. For my lines, I took this striping brush and murdered it by cutting half the bristles off to make it thinner, but it actually makes it better because it's easier to control and I could just get a thinner, better line. This brush is from this set from Twinkle Tea. I have it linked down below. And if you use my coupon code TWISTAR, you'll get 10% off. And it makes this set only like $8 for 10 brushes. Pretty cheap. For my base coat, I use Super Chic Lacquer Bring It On Base Coat. For my base color, I use China Glaze What She Doon. Not doing, doon, get it? And unfortunately, this is a limited edition color and it's no longer available, but I'll link a couple dupes down below and you can probably find this on Amazon. Then on a piece of paper, I plopped out some OPI, my vampire is buff, which by the way, is one of my all time favorite polishes, not only for the color, but also because of the name. And then I was ready to freehand. Nope. Nope, tricked ya. Tricked you again. As you can see, I am really freaked out by freehand and I was like re-dipping my brush into the polish. When I was looking at the design on the Burberry website, I noticed that the center stripes were a lighter color. Now you could totally skip this part and just go straight in with the darker black lines, but I was trying to be as authentic as possible. You know, real bougie with my Burberry inspired nail art. Once I let that dry for a little bit, I came back in with Julep Janae, which isn't a straight black. It's kind of an off black. And as you can see, this probably wasn't the best choice of polish because it's a little thin and I kind of have to go over some portions to make it a little darker. In retrospect, I probably should have used acrylic paint. It would have been thinner, easier to apply, and more opaque in one swipe. Lesson learned. I noticed that the edges of the nail where I was first touching the brush down to the nail was the parts where I seemed to mess up the most. I think because I had more polish on the brush at that time. So what I ended up doing was after I made the lines, I just went back in with a little bit of the base color to try to cover up some of those lines and it worked out okay. You could see it here, but once you slap on top coat, it covers it up. Then to finish off the design, I came back in with China Glaze The Heat Is On and made two more stripes with it. And this is also a limited edition polish. I'm sorry, I'll list another dupe. This is actually kind of a jelly red polish. So it worked out good because since it's kind of sheer, it let those other colors come through, which if you look at the pattern of their Burberry scarves, that's kind of what it looks like. So it worked out. Then I did some cleanup using my favorite cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea. It's linked down below in 100% acetone. My original plan was to use matte top coat like I'm showing here on my thumb and I'm glad I tested it out on my thumb because I actually didn't prefer it this way. I preferred it shiny so I slapped some top coat over this one. Here I'm applying liquid macro top coat from Super Chic Lacquer linked down below and I made sure to let my nails dry for a while before plopping on a lot of top coat to make sure that I wasn't going to smear it because I accidentally smeared my pinky nail because I didn't use enough top coat. And that completes my Burberry plaid inspired mani. I love plaid nails for fall, but you could always jazz these up by using neons or hollow polishes if neutral colors aren't your thing. I have another idea for a plaid mani that's a little different, so let me know if you wanna see it by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment if you are mad for plaid. And if you just cannot get enough of me, I mean, I know, right? You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye